A travel warning for anyone heading to Mexico fueled by escalating drug violence. Two Americans are among the dead following a shooting rampage in the border city of Juarez. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live at LAX with the latest on this new warning and whether it's making people think twice about traveling south of the border. Leanne. Giovanna, that travel warning so far has not had any impact here at LAX on flights to or from Mexico, but it certainly has travelers concerned. Travelers headed to Mexico on edge after the State Department issues a travel warning for several notorious Mexican states. I don't want to go to Mexico. I have a lot of scare. So I want to stay here. The warning comes after a violent attack in Juarez on consulate employees that left an American couple dead. The State Department is urging U.S. citizens to delay unnecessary travel to the states of Durango, Coahuila, and Chihuahua, where Saturday's violence erupted. The attacks left the two Americans and one Mexican citizen dead and several children injured. Authorities say the victims came under fire in separate locations after attending the same social event in Juarez. The American employee of the consulate, her husband and infant daughter were ambushed in their car near the bridge linking Juarez with El Paso, Texas. The child was unhurt, but her parents both killed. In the second drive-by shooting, the husband of a Mexican consulate employee was murdered and her children injured. Authorities say suspected drug cartel hit teams are to blame for the murders. We know that uh, the U.S. citizens were targeted. The foot patrol police officer who was stationed a couple of miles east of where the incident took place, he saw the, the two cars, uh, one chasing the other and, and shooting at that car. Those with family in Mexico say they know the border states have become especially dangerous and are very worried for their loved ones. Yeah, I want my family to come back to live here. I really am scared. Now another rash of violence yesterday in Acapulco left at least 13 people dead. It happened near a popular beach resort just as spring break is about to begin. Live at LAX, Lee Hyun Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News.